What's up guys, Ruxin34 back. Today we have a first edition Metal Raiders booster box. This is going to be insane. 35,000 subscriber special. I am extremely excited about this one. I should have done this a long time ago, back when they were like $2,000 earlier this year. But now, I had to pay $5,000. But that is totally worth it, because it's going to be awesome. So the giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away 9 of the 10 super rares from Metal Raiders. I'm only missing Song of the Thunder. All nine of these will be given away to one of you guys. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and just leave a comment on the video. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be about Metal Raiders, it can be about 35k, whatever. I don't care. It's going to be awesome. I was going to give away some Ultras, but all I had was Magic Jammer and Horn of Heaven. And with our luck of me pulling what I give away, I was not about to risk that. So I'm not giving away Magic Jammer or Horn of Heaven. But you get nine of the Supers. Now let's get into this. We are opening a $5,000 booster box and we are not weighing out the packs. We're opening all 24 packs because I want rares, I want commons, and because it's just more fun. It's just more fun when you don't weigh out the packs. Less cost effective, that's for sure. Okay, let's just do this. The ultimate, the legendary, let's check out the box first. The legendary Pequeno Moth can be pulled in here. That is our number one goal, obviously. And then also, this is a Gate Guardian box if you check out the IPC up there. It's a little bit hard because the crimps in the way, but that's a 4-9, I believe. So you can pull Gate Guardian in here. That is that would, would be incredible. We're about to break the seal of a five thousand dollar box. Here we go. We got some. Okay, we gotta do that. Here we go. There it is. We just broke the seal of, of a five thousand dollar box. It also broke like a legit box, so that's good. We also have to worry a little bit about reseals. People don't really reseal Metal Raiders, but recently almost everything is getting resealed. So I'm. I think I got it from a legit seller, so I think we're fine. But just in case, you want to, you know, do all the checks. So this felt pretty good. Felt pretty good. Let's make sure there's no like crazy 2020 packs in here or something. And it looks so far like we have a 100% legit Metal Raiders box. There's also one other potential crazy thing that could happen. I have heard of a box that had all hollows in it, 24 hollows. The chances of that are basically zero, but I did want to throw that out there just in case it does happen, then I look like a genius. But uh, let's go ahead and start. We're probably, the ratios are usually four supers, two ultras, and one secret. I need to announce that ahead of time because when I opened LOB, people were acting like I was I was supposed to pull a billion hollows or something, that it was weird. I don't know, it was weird. So let's just go ahead and do this. Let's make sure we're focused in. First edition Metal Raiders. I've opened like eight packs maybe total of first edition Metal Raiders. So this is going to be pretty exciting. The second set in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, right after Legend of Blue Eyes. Some really awesome cards in here. Okay, we definitely want to... Okay, we definitely look like we have a normal, legit box. So here we go. For Supers, I would love to pull the Gay Guardian pieces. For Ultras, obviously, the top seven cards would be great. Number one would be Summon Skull. I do have a B Skull already, so I'm not trying to pull that necessarily, but I wouldn't be mad. Prevent Rat. Launcher Spider. Classic. No! Magic Jammer right off the bat. Oh! That hurts so much. Okay, let's check the centering out. Okay, here's the thing with Magic Jammer. It's, al it's always in here. But... The good thing about Magic Jammer is, I do, I did have it as a kid. I thought it was really cool. This card actually looks like maybe it could get a 10, which is which would be cool because I don't have it. So that would be good. However, it is still Magic Jammer, not the one we're looking for. But overall, out of this whole box, I would like to pull one Ultra and a Gate Guardian, that one good Ultra. So if we pull a Magic Jammer and one other Ultra that's really good and a Gate Guardian, I would consider this box definitely a win. Definitely not what we, how we wanted to start, but that's okay. We still have a lot more cards we can pull. We definitely can pull some good rares, like we definitely pulled Magician of Faith. That would be incredible. There's some good commons like Thunder Dragon. We want to pull that. Okay, this we gotta be we gotta be more aggressive with these packs. We don't want to ding any corners on the way out because these cards are expensive. Jinzo number seven, our buddy Jinzo. Deep Sea Shark. Probably gonna have to sleeve up all these commons as well. These are actually like really good condition. The centering is terrible on that guy. Sort of deep seated. And a star boy, so we are not gonna get the the mythical 24 hollow hollow box, it looks like. Star boy with a rare. We're gonna sleeve up all our rares. Swamp Battle Guard, Tremendous Fire, and a Trent, the Int. Trent the Int. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Magic Jammer. What a, what a way to start. I feel like I, I opened a lot of Portuguese first edition boxes, and there was almost always either a Magic Jammer, a Seven Tools, or a Horn of Heaven in the box. All right, Guilty of the D Knight. Electric Lizard. Doma, the Angel of Silen Silence. Rainbow Flower. And a Blade Fly. Okay, all right, not the greatest rare, but that's okay. Let's check out the centering on it. I will probably definitely grade the rares and potentially some of the commons. Armored Zombie. Battle Steer. There is a lot of cards in Metal Raiders, too. I think there's like 143 or something. Is it, and that includes the secrets of 144, maybe. I think I think Thousand Dragon is number 143. Okay. The Lady Defe. Classic. The centering is not too good on, on the commons, it looks like, which is not too good for potential grading. Tongyo, so probably not even worth grading with the centering like that. Lava Bottle Guard. And a Shield and Sword, that's a cool one. The centering on the rares has been pretty decent. I think it's... Yeah, pretty good on that one. Not fantastic. Castle of Dark Illusions. The second half of the commons has been pretty good. A little bit of a nick on the bottom, but that's a good one. Kaminari Attack's actually pretty valuable as well. I'm not going to pull out all the commons right now. Because they all, pretty much all have a little bit of value being first edition Metal Raiders. Okay. Alright. So we're off to a little bit of a slow start for what we're really looking for. The Morinfin. The Unhappy Maiden. The first one. The Petite Moth. First edition. Yes. Yes, it looks a little bit uh, OC though, unfortunately. Dark Elf, that is a rare. We did get the Pequeno Moth. Yes, the epic, the legendary Pequeno Moth. Gigatech Wolf, Soggy, the Dark Clown. That's actually a pretty nice Soggy. It might be uh, gradable. That would actually be a pretty decent card to grade, being a pretty iconic card from the show. Getting a PSA 10 on that would be cool. Because, as someone pointed out when I opened uh, Stardew at Kaiba, there's no Soggy in that. So this might be its first printing. Yeah, New Atori. The Bistro Butcher. The Little Swordsman of Ale. Block Attack. And a Witch's Apprentice. Another pretty well-centered rare. A little bit off on this one. Slightly off. Soul Release, Larva Moth. Oh, we got a ding on the uh, the Bickery box. That one's straight up dinged. That's okay, though. Next pack. We're going a little slow. So if you guys are uh, impatient, I'm sorry, but this is first edition Metal Raiders. It was 5000 bucks. Pretty expensive. Definitely very expensive. So we're just enjoying it. We're enjoying this Metal Raiders box. Probably won't open one of these again. So Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Unless I get a good deal. Musician King, Protector of the Throne, and a Harpy Lady Sisters. Okay, that's a good one. I used to have this in Tim. I think I sold it, so this would be... Oh, wow, this card's really nice. So I have a nice chance to grade. Very cool. Harpy Lady Sisters, that's a nice card. Ooh, Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. That's a sweet common. King of Yami Makai. Man, there are so many good commons in this set. Just... Compared to, to LOB, the commons are way better in Metal Raiders. Like, they got some really awesome ones. Like, all these ones from the show and stuff. Yeah, this is really good. Like, Pump King, the King of Ghosts. I mean, that's just incredible. The Crass Clown. Another Pequeno off yet off-centered again. Can we get a PSA 10 one? Come on. White Magical Hat. That's a nice card. Good rare there. Our rares are looking pretty good. They might have a chance to grade those. Kenyo Moss, we're sleeping up all of those. Skull Knight is definitely like a fan favorite. People love that card. Tainted Wisdom, Harpy Lady, that's going to be a very likable one as well. Okay, four more packs on the right side. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pull something good. The Bistro Butcher. So far, we got an Ultra and a Super. Little Swords and a Veil. Share the Pain. Block attack. And a masked sorcerer. Center, I'm loving the centering on these rares. The quality of Metal Raiders seems to be pretty good compared to a lot of other sets around it. Ring of Magnetism. 
there are some there's some bad some bad ones like uh Pharaoh Servant, once you get to that area, and then Legacy of Darkness and stuff like that. Those were pretty crazy. There was some off-centering and stuff, stuff like that. We have a Dream Clown. That's a nice card. Musician King. Protector of the Throne. The Jurai Gumo. Mask of Darkness. That is a rare. Blast Juggler. Labyrinth Tank and Crawl. Like, Labyrinth Tank. Just look at all the... The commons are incredible in this set. Mask of Darkness. Okay, we still have two more packs over here. Oh, one more super on this side, probably. Can we get a... I think Sui Gym would be the coolest one. They're all really cool, though. Yeah, now I can replace... And up back here, I have all my empty booster boxes. I can replace the uh, Portuguese one with the English Metal Raiders. Illusionist. Faceless Mage. That's a cool one. Cybersaurus. Robin. Oh, that scared me. When I saw that trap, that scared me a lot. Robin Zombie. That is a rare. That really scared me. Disc Magician, Rabbit Horseman, and Pump King. Like, look at all the Pump King di um, and Rabbit Horseman. Both right there are anime iconic cards. When you get to LOB, like, most of the comments are not iconic at all. They're just, like, random. You're like, what are these? Okay. Pale Beast. Jellyfish. Gucci. The Cheerful Coffin. Come on. Yes! Suijin. And a slight fade to it. Which is beautiful. I right, check the back. Oh my goodness. Talk about amazing condition. Right out of the pack. You'd love to see that. Potential PSA 10 right there. That is awesome. Where am I putting? Oh, there am I putting my hollows. Okay. I'm going to bring these back here. Wow, that's really good. Okay, Hunter Spider and Aki Beam. All right, so we got two really good supers, I would say. Some of the best ones. What can the second half do? Can it bring us a Gate Guardian? Can it bring us a Summon Skull? Those would be... That would be the dream half. That would be perfect. Absolutely perfect if that could happen. Come on. Doma, the Angel of Silence. The Little Swordsman of Ale. Block Attack. The Cocoon of Evolution. That's a nice short print, I think. Fate Trap. All right, so they're not mapped. That could have been the Ultra Rare, but it wasn't. Fake Trap. Unless we only have one Ultra Rare, which I have seen. That would be catastrophic. That would be terrible. Next pack. Please get a Secret Rare. I really hope we get a Secret Rare. Chances are like one in two boxes. That's never officially released. That's why it's a secret, you know. But uh, that would be great. Protector of the Throne, The Pale Beast, Jurai Gumo, Elegant Egotist. We're getting all kinds of Harpy Lady stuff. Pretty cool rare. We haven't gotten a Magician of Faith, a Sangan, or a Witch of the Black Forest yet, which is like, ooh. And we haven't gotten a Thunder Dragon. That's a short print. So there's a lot to be pulled left, hopefully, in these, in these packs. Here we go. Destroyer Golem. Mystic Lamp. Oh, that destroy. Okay, that destroyer golem got destroyed. <laughs> that is not good. The top is messed up. Mystic Lamp. The Cheerful Coffin. Lady Defe. And a little Chimera. That is a rare. Come on, rares. Give us some good ones. There are a lot of options, I guess, compared to most sets. Crawling Dragon, Immortal of Thunder. Whew, okay. I'm super nervous right now. Super nervous. For 35k, can we pull something epic from this insane booster box? All right, blue winged crown. My voice is getting a little raspy here. Lava battle guard. Kojo Kazi. Mornfin. Princess of Surugi. That's a rare. Bottom dweller. Ancient brain. Share the pain. And <laughs> swamp battle guard. That rhymed. Ancient brain. Share the pain. Ancient brain. Share the pain. What is this? All right, Princess of Surugi. <laughs> Okay, come on, be loaded last few packs. Gate Guardian, Gate Guardian, Gate Guardian, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You gotta dream big, here we go. Stem pack, I believe that this pack will give us. Oh, it already started off good. They're always at the front though, so they're off centered. Pecanio Moth, Armored Lizard. Yeah, I felt something, maybe it was the Pecanio Moth. Be sure, Butcher. Black Skull Dragon. Okay, okay, I almost said this, but. In the Portuguese boxes I opened, 
Black Skull was always with, I couldn't remember if it was Horn of Heaven or Magic Jammer. I guess it was, it was Magic Jammer. Oh, sweet. Okay, I already have this card, but this card, at the time of recording this, just sold in PSA 10 for $2,500. So that is definitely not an upsetting pull. Okay, that's really good. Hopefully this guy can grade a 10. He looks pretty good. Wow, Black Skull Dragon. We pulled this in the 30k too. So we pulled the in the 25k and the 30k. We pulled Blue Eyes and Blue Eyes. Now we pulled 30 and 35. We pulled B Skull Dragon. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about the box now. Tremendous Fire, Trent, Punished Eagle, Armored Zombie, and Flame Cerberus. Okay, now we just need a Secret Rare. And then this is the... The best box it's great but not the best but it's it's great it's fantastic here we go b skull dragon that's awesome i'm happy about it unfortunately not one that i don't have i only have one ultra and i have that one but it's one of the best ones so i can't complain telling you baby dragon that's a that's a tough one shadow ghoul we got a rare come on, and can we get the decent rare actually shadow ghoul is a pretty good one i mean it just looks awesome Castle of Dark Illusions. Hopefully that can be a nice PSA 10 for us. All right, we're getting uh, we're getting down to the last few packs. We we still need two more supers at least. Hopefully a secret rare. I'm a little scared. I think in the Beast Skull. I don't remember if I ever pulled a Gate Guardian with a Beast Skull. Of the Portuguese packs. Maybe we can break that streak here. Deep Sea Shark. I only opened like two boxes though, so it wasn't many. Guilty of the D Knight. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. This is actually one I've already pulled. This is funny because I have not opened much Metal Raiders and I'm pulling dupes. Um, I opened like six packs at once and I pulled Heavy Storm and Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. So this guy looks like a PSA 10 though. I, I think I submitted that other one. So we'll see if we get one of them to get a 10. Soggy, the Dark Clown. Okay. Okay. So we have three Supers, two Ultras, Kingate Guardian show up for us in the last few packs. I'm so nervous. Oh, look at the back card. Oh no, are these all damaged? Oh no. Okay, it's just those two. Oh my goodness, that's scary. Nibatori. Electric Lizard, that's scary with the packs of damage. Thunder Dragon, we finally got one. Wait a second. That looks pretty good. This card's pretty expensive as a common. Looks pretty good. The back centering is not good at all, so maybe it'll grade, maybe it won't. Very tough. Very tough to get that one in ice condition because it was used a lot. Ryukishin powered. A Sangan. We finally got a Sangan. I hope he wasn't dinged. Looks like he wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it's okay down there. Alright, Sangan as a rare. Nice. Now we just need Witch of the Black Forest, Magician of Faith, Larva Moth, and Water Emotics. Okay, how many packs do we have left? We have four more packs. I'm so nervous. Come on. Come on, Gate Guardian. Oh, that would be that would be very, very crazy if we pulled it. Yeah, I didn't get a secret out of my LOB box either, so that would be kind of sad. Mystic Swordsman or Horseman. Oh, Mystic Swordsman is a while later. Illusionist, the Illusionist Faceless Mage. Might play that clip. Big Eye. The Cybersaurus. And a Mooka Mooka. Rare. Mooka Mooka. Nice. Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. That's nice. And King of Yummy Makai. Oh, okay. Next pack. Metal Raiders. Here we go. Only a few left. A few more chances. No Magician of Faith. No Sangan. Or no Witch of the Black Forest. And no Gate Guardian so far. All right, Jellyfish. The Cheerful Coffin. Queen's Double. Lady de Fe. Oh, okay, Magician of Faith. Good. Good centering. Okay, maybe a PSA 10 Magician of Faith. That's really good. Good rare. Very good rare. Okay, you can be happy about that one. No Witch, but that's okay. Hopefully we don't have any more rares if we get lucky and get a Secret, which I'm... Starting to doubt a little bit here because we haven't pulled our super yet. We probably are going to get another super. Uh, what do we want? Probably another Gate Guardian piece like a uh, Sangha of the Thunder. Steel Scorpion. Blue Winged Crown. Lava Battle Guard. 
Mornfin. Gar <laughs> Garnesia Elephantis, naturally. Of course. But that's okay, I'll take that. I will take that. I actually like this card. I think it looks really good. Garnesia Elephantis. Super rare. All right. German Fection. We're down to one more pack. We have one more chance at Gate Guardian. Oh, do you believe in the chances, guys? I'm worried. Uh, let's, you gotta believe. You gotta believe. Here we go. Gate Guardian. Come on. Hit the like button for luck, guys. We have one more chance. We have pulled a Beast Skull Dragon. Can we pull something crazy to end it? To make it absolutely insane. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I'm so scared. Share the pain. The illusion is faceless mage. Cybersaurus. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Jellyfish. And a, gr a great moth. What a better way to end it than a grande moth. All right. No secret rare. Oh my goodness. It hurts. It hurts. But overall, we did get some pretty good pulls. Let's see what we got out of the foil slots. All right. Overall, we got, we did get one Thunder Dragon, only one, it's short printed. A Sangan Rare. We got a Magician of Faith. We didn't get the Witch of the Black Forest, which stinks. We got a Garnesia Elephantis Classic, had to show himself. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Harpy Lady Sisters, first edition. That's pretty good. Nice little fade to it. All these are a little faded. Suijin, that looks really nice. Super rare. Magic Jammer, naturally. <laughs> and the best pull of the box for sure. The Black Skull Dragon. That is definitely a great pull. If that can get a 10, this will probably be worth the box. Um, I really enjoyed opening this. This was fun. The secret rare curse of our big boxes is now to two. We're two times. LOB and Metal Raiders. We did not pull a secret rare. It hurts a little bit, but I'm very happy with how it went overall because we did get what probably the best ultra if not tied with summon skull in the set so that's incredible even though i did already have it i'll take two psa 10s maybe i can trade it for a summon skull or something that would probably be pretty awesome yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video metal raiders thank you again for 35,000 subscribers that is insane that is crazy maybe we'll open up more some more old school boxes we still need to open magician's force dark crisis and invasion of chaos first edition i've opened the other eight sets from the first 11 so any of those would be crazy. If you want to support me, check my TCG player and eBay affiliate links below. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh! <laughs>